Hello everybody, this is Mike coming at you with another video. This one on a review of the Sony HW40ES. I'm gonna show you guys why I chose this projector. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks projected onto my wall. I do not have a screen. I do not feel a screen is necessary with this projector. At least in my situation, some people might be different. However, I'm very satisfied with how it looks on my wall. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how I mounted it using a $25 mount that I got off of Amazon. So let's get to it. All right, guys, the Sony HW40ES. I picked this thing up when it was on sale. Sony had it marked down to $19.99, roughly two grand. Luckily, I was able to get a couple more hundred dollars knocked off of that. I knew somebody that was able to hook it up a little bit. So I ended up spending $1,700 for the projector, plus they gave me a free two day shipping. I got the mount for 25 bucks off of Amazon. I also bought a 50 foot HDMI cable off of Amazon. I think I paid roughly 20 bucks for it. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, however, I do have that HDMI cord going from the projector, going along the wall, down the side, over into my receiver, in which everything plugs into my receiver. So that's how I have my setup. I'm going to show you guys the projector. I'm going to show it on the wall. As you can see behind me, it's currently going in the background. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with some ambient light. It's nighttime right now. So I'm going to show you with my dining room lights on so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Overall, it does look pretty good. When the lights go out, it is freaking awesome. Currently my screen size, probably like 120 inches, maybe 130 inches. I'm gonna show you guys that, give you a perspective of what the screen size looks like. It can go up to about 300 inches. However, that would be way too large for my situation. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what you can do with it, what it looks like. I'm gonna show you that there's almost minimal to no sound at all with this projector when you have the lamp on low. When you put the lamp on high, you get a little bit of noise, but it's definitely something you can totally zone out and you don't notice it at all. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what it looks like with some light on. All right, guys, so here is a view of it with ambient light on. We've got my dining room light on right behind us. Looking at the screen through the viewfinder on my DSLR, it does look a bit more dimmer than it actually looks in real life. So just keep that in mind when you're using these comparisons. However, it looks really good. I can't complain with it. With the size of screen you get, with the little bit of brightness that you do lose, it's really, you take the good with the bad and it, Honestly, I don't really see it being that bad. I game on this thing. I have no issues. I watch movies on it. I watch Blu-rays on it. I watch TV on it. It doesn't matter. It can totally do it. It can do it with the lights on. It does it awesome with the lights off. Really, this is something you can use all day. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you guys a perspective standing in front of the screen. All right, guys, here's a view of what it looks like with the lights off. Uh, I've got a light on in the front of my house. However, that's not really affecting my living room at all. This is all the lights off. All we got is the projector. And as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. And if you guys haven't ever checked this thing out, I definitely suggest find a Best Buy that has a Magnolia inside of it because I guarantee they're going to have this projector set up inside the Magnolia Theater and you guys can check it out. Especially if you're considering this, go in there and check it out for $2,000. Honestly, if you're looking for a big screen, this will work. As long as you don't have a wall full of windows, you could absolutely project this onto your wall if you have a wall in your house that would handle it. So I'd like to give you guys a quick overview of my actual setup as many people have been asking me about it. So as you can see, I have the projector mounted on the ceiling of my dining room. It was really my only option. However, it's the option I would have picked anyways because it's the distance I needed it to be to make it comfortable for the experience I wanted from it. I'm gonna try and get the camera up here and show you guys exactly how it's mounted with the mount. It does have a quick release on the side where if I ever needed to take it down for any reason off the ceiling, I could do so. 
I went to Home Depot and I bought these cord covers and I ran it right along the side here and it comes down the side of my living room wall and the cords go in behind my couch and then around the walls over to my entertainment center. And to give you guys an idea of what it looks like from this view, there's the projector itself projecting onto the wall. So overall guys, this is a very, very nice projector. It is a little bit on the higher end. If you're looking to stay under $1,000, obviously you're not gonna be able to get this. If you can open up your budget a little bit, I would definitely recommend looking into that. I do know there are some nicer DLP projectors or whatnot, but for people who do not like the DLP, don't like the color spinning, this is definitely something to consider. Honestly, I think this is the best projector you can get for under $2,000. Like I said, go to Best Buy, check this thing out, get an in-person, demo of it if it's something you're considering it's awesome you can use it in a living room I use it for everyday use this is something that will really give that wow factor it does have 3d I'm not really into 3d so I don't really use it that much I did buy some Sony PS3 3d glasses which do work well with it however I've only watched one movie for about 10 minutes with it in the past seven months that I've had this thing so as you can see I'm not really a 3d fan if there's anything else you guys want to know about this leave a comment below I will respond as soon as possible Keep your eyes out, keep your eyes posted. I know Sony's already ran a few promotions on this thing where they've dropped the price to $2,000. Currently it's listed at $2,500. I checked the website today on Sony. However, keep checking because I know Best Buy does sales, Sony does sales. If this thing goes down to $19.99 again, I would definitely recommend try and get your hands on it. You won't be disappointed, you will be completely pumped with it. And to make a note of it, I watch this thing on low settings. I don't even have to put it on high. It says it's only 1700 lumens of brightness. When you look at the Epsons, they're rated much higher. However, when I had an Epson, I think this thing is pretty much the same when it comes to brightness levels. So that's something that I wouldn't really pay too much attention to. I'm not really sure with the different technologies, how that works. From me to you, with hands-on experience, this thing's brightness is absolutely fine. Even during the day when it's sunny and I have my blinds open a little bit, whatever's on, I can watch it. It doesn't matter. Like I said, you guys have any questions, you wanna know anything else, hit me up, leave a comment below, hit that like button, and let me know what you wanna know. If you guys wanna see any other videos, let me know anything tech-related, Apple-related, let me know. I'll try and get my hands on, I'll try and do a review. I'll try and let you guys know what I like about it, what I can do with it. I'm like every other consumer where I like to try and get the most bang for my buck. I want to have awesome tech, cool experiences for little amounts of money. That's my ultimate goal. So if there's anything you guys have in mind that you'd like to see, let me know. I'll try and make it happen.